everyone, it's Michelle with Crafty Roos and I am here with entry number two into my inspiration challenge. And um, it's an inspiration embellishment challenge. Boy, I speak well, don't I? And uh, this one is coming from our friend Denise Garcia. Look at this adorable envelope. I'm loving it. And it says challenge entry. God bless our wonderful poster workers. And she is so right about that. Okay, guys, I am going to cut this open, and we are going to get right in here and see what we have. It always scares me when I grab a pair of scissors to open something up because I'm afraid I'm going to destroy it. Okay, so let us see, let us see. Okay, we have a beautiful little note card here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I absolutely love those flowers on here. It says, enclosed are my embellishments. It's a great way to use up all the leftovers from previous projects. Your prizes are so very generous. Thank you for doing this cool giveaway. Love seeing everyone's entries. Peace, love, and blessings, Denise. And it is a great way to use up scraps. And I cannot wait to see how you, how you used them up. I absolutely love everything that everybody makes, and I'm so looking forward to the inspiration that I pick up from these guys. I, I have been struggling so hard. And oh my gosh. <laughs> I am in love. These are beautiful. I love to play with cardboard. And these are the cardboard and then she has put uh, metallic paint on it, it looks like, or maybe it's one of the sprays. But, uh, it is done in a shimmery and gold. Look at this, guys. So very pretty. So very pretty. And this says vitamin C. Is that not cute? And she's got seashells on here. I love this. Super, super cute idea. Super cute. And then we have one here. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. This one says summertime. And she has got some uh, net ribbon on here, the mesh ribbon. I love this color, Denise. Where in the world did you find this color? And she's got a starfish on here and a little uh, folding lawn chair. And it's got a beautiful a little orchid. I'm not good with my flower names. I love flowers, guys, to pieces, but I'm not good with the names. Basics, daisies, roses. I can get those. Beautiful flowers like this. I struggle. And then she's got a uh, summer up here and she added a bulb pin and added a little starfish. Is this not adorable? I would have never thought to make um, ever little uh, summer sea themed embellishments with the cardboard like this. And the cardboard, you just rip off the top layer and then use what's underneath it. And I've done this with my mom maybe three years ago and we gessoed on it and added uh, stuff, and they came out really cute. I, I, I was really pleased with them, but I never thought to do this, so I'm, I'm loving this. And then we have one more here, and she has put a piece of lace, and underneath it is the paper, I mean, the cardboard is like a red. She's uh, inked it with red, I think it's ink, and then maybe some, uh... no, that's gotta be red too, it just looks a little bit faint. And then she's added this lace on here and a button and a scrap piece of uh, book page. And then look at the little pa paper with the rose. I love these, Denise. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, I would have never in a million years thought to uh, do beach-themed ones. They came out beautiful. And this... Oh, excuse me, guys. My allergies went from being just like summer allergies to, to all year long. I, I am allergic to every season. It's horrible. Don't know what to do about it either. No matter what I've taken, it doesn't seem to work. But this right here looks like beach netting also. It's just so cool. And I don't know where you got this from, but if you could tell me, I would be grateful. As I said, this is so, so pretty. I love this stuff. I've been trying to find it in different places and the Dollar Tree right now has some but I don't believe it's this color. I, at least if it is, I haven't found it at my store. We have a, like a cream color and a white and a dark green and I think a brown. That's what I picked up from there. But anyways, Denise, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your entries. I am definitely uh, 
inspired by these. These are beautiful, and I cannot wait to make some beach-themed ones myself. So I thank you so very much. You are entry number two into my uh, inspirational embellishment challenge. I thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you guys have not seen Denise before, I will link her in the description box below. I thank you guys so very much for stopping by and uh, watching this video. Denise, again, thank you for entering my challenge. I love you all, and there's still time for you guys to enter if you'd like to. The challenge is going until August 16th. I will draw my winner on August 16th, which is my mom and my dad's anniversary. Um, so in memory of them is when I'm going to be doing my uh, giveaway. So uh, there's plenty of time, guys. I will link uh, the original um, and prize number two because I did add a second prize to my challenge. Uh, I will link those in the description box below. And... Um, I look forward to you guys joining. All right. I love you all so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, guys. I know that I can't say it enough, but it really does help our channels grow. And if you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. And if you are returning, know that you are my heart, guys. I love you so very, very much. All right. You have a wonderful night, and I will see you in just a few minutes because, I'm, well, actually, I won't see you till tomorrow because I'm going to post this one today, and I'm going to save one for tomorrow. Because I got another entry, guys. I'm so excited. All right. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.